Welcome back to another Q&A question weight loss series. Um, today's question is about intermittent fasting. So people ask me a lot about this. I have, you know, expressed that I think intermittent fasting is beneficial in the past and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit today. So there's different diets that like promote intermittent fasting. Like I think the warrior diet is one where you pretty much don't eat all day and you have one meal at night. Um, there's also the 5-2 diet, I think it's called, where you eat like as many calories as you can for five days and then two days you eat 500 or something like that. Um, so intermittent fasting isn't like something new, it's something that we have done our whole lives, it's something that, you know, the body naturally does. Um, and it's not really like a diet, it's more of listening to your body and it kind of comes into play with like intuitive eating and things like that. So. If, you know, I don't think that you should force your body to intermittently fast, but what I do think is that when you listen to your body, you'll realize that, you know, most people, most thin people, um, will listen to their bodies and fast when they're not hungry. So, um, like if you've ever had a friend and it's like 10 o'clock or noon or something like that and they've just been so busy and they're just like, you know, I'm, I haven't eaten anything all day because their body wasn't telling them to eat. They weren't hungry and they were just busy and they were focused on other things. That's kind of an explanation of intermittent fasting. So if you go to bed or you say you stop eating, you eat dinner at 5 p.m., you wake up and you don't eat something till 8 p.m., you technically be intermittent fasting for 15 hours. So from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m., 15 hours, which I think 15 hours is like generally how much people will intermittent fast. Um, the biggest thing with this, though, is people are very brainwashed from diets, from the media, from having to eat 10 mini meals every single day or else your metabolism is going to slow down and you're going to die, right? Like, we've all heard that, that you need to eat 10 times a day and you need to eat consistently or your body's going to go into starvation mode. So the only thing that I really have to say about this is just listen to your body. So if you wake up in the morning, and you know, some diet or some person or whatever is telling you that you need to eat at five o'clock in the morning or else you're gonna go into starvation mode and die but you're not hungry, like just eat when you're hungry. So wake up in the morning, drink a bunch of water, get your body hydrated, and then wait until you are hungry to eat your first meal. Your next meal, wait until you're hungry to eat your next meal. So like a long time ago when we were roaming the planet, you know, when we were, not living by the standards of society and all their brainwashing and diets. We didn't have three meals a day. Like these were put into place by the marketing of America to make us form our eating habits around certain times of the day, which helps, you know, the restaurants, it helps the fast food industries, it helps sell more food in grocery stores because people are like, well, what am I going to have for breakfast? What am I going to have for lunch? What am I going to have for dinner? And it's all these different types of food. So like, you have your breakfast foods, you have your lunch foods, you have your dinner foods, and generally those are what people, at least in you know America, on a standard American diet, will eat for those specific meals. They'll wake up, they'll have yogurt because it's a breakfast food, you know, or they'll have oatmeal or fruit or eggs with bacon or something like that. They'll go out to eat and they'll get a huge bacon and egg platter or whatever. Um, for lunch, they'll have like a sandwich or something like that that they'll bring to work with like chips or they'll have like a hot dog or something that's more of like a lunch type meal. And then for dinner, they'll, you know, make something at home that's like a stew or pizza or whatever. So it's really just American marketing tactics that have placed meal times around everything. And the dieting industry took advantage of that and they said, well, we're gonna like make this into, you have to eat 10 times a day or this is gonna happen to you. Or, you know, now there's intermittent fasting diets and things like that, but nothing is really new. I mean, generally, if you just listen to your body and you go by intuitive eating and how your body feels and you eat as much as you want, everything will work out 100%. So I wouldn't say, like, force your body to intermittently fast. I mean, it is good to not eat right before bedtime or anything like that, um, but just make sure that you're eating enough at dinner that you're full and satisfied and that you can go to bed and not be like starving. And then when you wake up, drink a quart of water, um, do a couple things, and then once you feel hungry, eat. And then once you feel hungry again, eat. So 
don't force your body to intermittent fast. It's just something that we naturally do day to day and I think that that's the healthiest way to go about it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, leave your comments and questions about intermittent fasting below and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!